and welcome to my travel vlog. So, I used to have a travel vlog called Becky Boo's Travel Adventures and I decided to get into the 21st century and create a vlog. And in today's uh, vlog post, what I would like to talk about is the 10 top tips on what you should be packing for your up and coming cruise. So maybe you've been on a cruise before and you know these things to pack, but for first time cruises, hopefully these will be some good tips on what you should be bringing with you on your amazing cruise. So first up, I think what you should be packing is a document holder. Now this probably seems pretty straightforward and something that you might be doing already, but I know there's quite a few of you that just quickly shove your passport, your documents and all those into your bag and when you need to actually find something it's a bit of a nightmare to try and find them. So having ha one of these handy document um, holders will be really helpful for you. You need quite a bit of information when you're going on a cruise. So you need your sea passes, you need your luggage tags and you need sort of all your other bits like your travel insurance documents. So having one of these document holders will be really helpful. Okay, next up we have a USB adapter. So for you guys from the US, you probably won't need an adapter if you're going on a Royal Caribbean cruise, but for us folks from the UK, we definitely do need an adapter. I actually got caught last time as my adapter actually broke and there were none to buy on board. So it's really, really important to make sure you pack one. I think the USB adapters are brilliant because it allows you to charge multiple things at the same time and a lot of our devices our phones our smartwatches they all work on usb so it's the perfect way to actually be able to charge everything you need so up next is a cool lanyard for your cpass now your cpass is a really important card um I've only been on a Royal Caribbean cruise before, so I'm not too sure how the other cruise liners do it. But for me, the, the sea pass was really important because it allows you to open your room, allows you to charge everything um, to your room when you're on the cruise ship. So any drinks, any shopping that you do, when you get on and off the ship, you need to have that. So it's really important to keep it safe, to keep it clean, dry. And it's also an opportunity to actually put your stamp on things. So I've got a super glittery one and I'm really excited to use it on my next cruise. Next, we have a foldable water bottle. Now, for me, this is really important when you're actually flying over to a cruise. So it's really important to keep yourself hydrated, especially if you're gonna have a couple of uh, cheeky alcoholic beverages. So it's really a good opportunity to just fill your water bottle up at the airport. Um, it can be flat before you go through security, so you won't get in trouble for bringing liquids through. And it saves you some money. Um, I know you, you're paying lots of money for your cruise already, so if you've got the opportunity to save a couple of pounds or a couple of dollars, then it's a really good opportunity. You won't be able to bring any liquids on board the cruise, but when you're on board, there are loads of stations where you can actually fill up the water bottles. So, there's normally lemonade, there's iced tea, there's water, flavoured water even. So you'll be able to have the opportunity to fill your water bottle up and have your drinks for free. Next we have the water shoes. So as unattractive as they look, they're actually really practical. So if you've got any excursions which are gonna involve you getting wet, these will be a really good opportunity to have some protection on your feet so you can walk around in the sun and protect you against the rocks. Yes, they don't look great and you might not wear them all the time, but it, you'll be surprised that some of the excursions that you do, it may be really helpful to have some water shoes with you. Speaking of getting wet on some of our excursions, how about bringing along a plastic case for your phone? So this will be a really good opportunity to get some amazing pictures, whether you're um, hiking to a waterfall, whether you're snorkeling. There's some really good deals out there. I bought my one from Amazon and it was 9 99 It's lasted me really, really well. And in fact, I've actually bought another one for a friend. So I really do recommend the one that I've got. Um, obviously do the tissue test before you actually put your phone in it. So all you do is put a tissue in there, 
seal it up, put it in some water, submerge it, and then you can just make sure that it's actually working all okay and it's sealed. Now, and we know these boats get a little bit windy. So when you're sunning yourself on the decks and your towel is blowing around everywhere, it's really, really annoying. So these clips are absolutely amazing. So you're able to keep your towels in place and you're also able to identify which towels are yours. On most of the cruise ships, they actually give you towels to use. So you don't need to bring your own. So that saves some uh, room in the suitcase, more room for shopping, which I absolutely love. So yeah, it's a really good opportunity to actually buy some really cool uh, designs. I bought mine from eBay. I think they were about $2.99 for a packet of four. So it's a really good bargain. So going back to those excursions, having a backpack is really, really helpful. Um, I'm a big handbag person, so I love having my really nice handbags, but you don't really want them to get sand in them. And it's a bit of a pain only having a one shoulder handbag. So having a backpack, you can put your beach towels in there. You can put your books, your sun lotion, all the things that you need when you're getting on and off the boat. Um, it's also really handy when you're actually traveling. So you can actually hold a little bit more in your bag as opposed to just a normal handbag. So this one's a bit of a random one, um, but honestly, this will be a life changer for you. So what you need the highlighter for is your um, everyday cruise compass. So on Royal Caribbean, they'll give you a cruise compass the night before for the next day. And this tells you absolutely everything you need to know about the next day. So whether you're gonna be in ports, um, all the activities available, what time the restaurants are open, the bars, absolutely everything you need to know and having your highlighter allows you to kind of identify which things you want to do what's a must see you could bring a couple of highlighters one is a i'd like to do and another is we must go and do it so it's a really good chance to actually highlight and just make the most out of your cruise to be able to do as much as you want to do you don't want to miss a thing And finally, uh, for number 10, this is the controversial one. So for me, going on a cruise is all about dressing up. Um, wherever I go on holiday, if it's a nice resort that I go to, I love getting out of my beachwear during the day, having a shower and getting dressed up in nice clothes. Now for most seven day cruises, there are actually two formal nights. So in the main dining room, what this means is you have to wear sort of smart clothes. So for me, I love the opportunity of being able to wear a floor length dress. Um, I can wear a maxi dress during the day, that's fine, but actually having the opportunity to really dress up is great. But it doesn't have to cost too much. Now, the pictures that I showed you before, the black dress actually cost me five pounds. Um, I wore it on my last cruise and I had two lovely girls come up to me and say how nice it was. So it just goes to show you really don't have to spend too much. Um, I know that some people don't like dressing up. Um, I really don't get that. I think I understand you want to be comfortable on a cruise. You don't want to look or feel uncomfortable. But how often do we actually get to really get dressed up? Unless you're working in events or something like that where you get to wear a, a ball gown all the time. Um, so for me, I think it's a really great opportunity to just get dressed up, enjoy it. And like I said, it really doesn't have to cost the earth. So there we go. They are my 10 top tips on what to pack for a cruise. Um, I hope you found them helpful. Um, as I said, this is my first vlog. So please be kind to me. If you have any feedback, please let me know. It'll be really, really helpful. But um, for now, I hope you have a really great cruise. If you haven't booked one yet, absolutely book it. It will be a life changer for you. I travel loads and I absolutely adore cruises. I've got one in two weeks time today, so I am super excited. So thanks so much for watching my video. Take care.